<laughs> All right. Hey there, beer teamers. Welcome back to yeah, Beer Analysis 101 with your host, Maxwell Starr. And of course, we're three people on Yada side. All right, we're going to do a beer this week. Big surprise. We're going to do something from Germany. We're going to do Butt Burger, I mean Bit Burger, Premium Pills, Germany's number one draft beer. Their words. Uh, six months for Metallic Tower and Bitburger Shingle Hoppin. Seagull Hoppin? What's that mean? Like single hopped or something? With Haller Tower? I don't know. It's uh, mit Haller Tower und Bitburger Single Nach Deutschem Reinheitsgebäude Bra. It's like probably for German purity law. Yeah. Oh, who else is here? Yeah. Not adding a Ewart. Sorry. Unless you actually have the beer. Um. All right. So uh, let's get down to who we have with us tonight, starting with Mr. Fuzzy. How you doing Yo, tonight, Fuzzy? Not too bad. Yourself? Can't complain. Just another Wednesday night and drinking some brosikis. Something like that. All right, let's move over to Greg, who doesn't have to follow Ashley's action tonight. Yay! Oh, well, now I can't have my own original thoughts. Yeah. Oh, nope, you're going to have to come up with them on your own. And then you can still bitch and complain about that, too. Uh, beer good. Beer good. It tastes like beer. Dude, the end. One out of three. Beer good. Beer good. Tastes like beer. I'm having coffee now, so I don't fall asleep on you. Oh, it's all righty. I ate a lot of I ate a lot of chicken wings and French fries, and now I'm like stuffed. Oh, but... I had chicken wings today too for supper. Ate, ate the whole thing like a chicken wing. There you go. Well, all right, Mr. Sexton, Ask yes. Sexton, Sexton Brewing Co. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for having me, and uh, I can I can see the future, and uh, this ain't no steam whistle. Oh, mm. oh. Shocker. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, okay, let me get down to our favorite part of the show, which is the one I work hardest for, which is writing the beer history, which is like a couple right. hours, a couple hours spent on looking on Google and Wikipedia articles. All right. Uh, Bitburger, premium Pilsner. Bitburger traces its origins to the city of Bitburg. Big surprise. In the Rhine province of Prussia, today's Germany. Uh, the Rhineland near the French border, where the when the brewery was founded by Johann Peter Wallenborn in 1817. After his death, control passed to his son-in-law Ludwig Bertrand Simon, renaming the brewery to Simon Brow in 1841. Watch it be like pronounced Simon Brow or something like that. Uh, the uh, Ludwig's son Theobald took over in 1871 and began to take the brewery into a new direction, modernizing the brewery with an artificial ice cooled cellar, allowing them to brew bottom fermented lagers year round, adding a bottling line in 1880. Uh, Simon Brow brewed their first Pils beer in 1883 and began exporting the beer to nearby Luxembourg. In 1886, in 1907, Theobald's sons Joseph and Bertrand became shareholders in the brewery, and the brewery became known as Theobald Simon Simon Brow Bayerisch Lager Brewery Bitburg OHG or Bitburg for short. Uh, in 1909, Bitburg began selling their original Simon Brow. German Pilsner, which is the same beer known as Bitburger today, uh, after passing the, to the next generation of Sim uh, the Simon Sons in 1935, the brewery was nearly destroyed in July of 1944 during Allied bombing of the area. Uh, after a war, uh, the three brothers, Theobald, Hans, and Bert Simon, resolved to rebuild the brewery and was already brewing their first post-war brew by August of 1945, so by, not even by the end of the war, before the around the same time they were brewing beers in cross germany at around the same time the nukes were being dropped in japan yeah so the, uh, the, the victory yeah. in europe was already done it was done yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the germany had already fallen but i mean japan was still in it barely um so bitburger debuted their famous slogan bit in and bit which is actually written here on the can uh translated a bit please in 1951 at the anuga in Cologne, whatever that is. I think it's Anuga! Anuga, A-N-U-G-A. That's all it said. Uh, a new brewery was built in 1958, and by 1973, the brewery has expanded again. Uh, control passed to in 1975 to the sixth generation of the Simon family and the seventh generation in 2007. Bitburger acquired Kostritzer in 1991, our favorite dark lager, and East Germany's uh, 
Wern's Gruner Brewery in 2002. Today, Bitburger is Germany's third best selling beer and number one selling draft beer, according to their Other beers from Bitburger include uh, Benedictiner Weiss Beer, uh, Benedictiner Hells, Kostritzer Swartz Beer, Wern's Gruner Pilsner, Konig Pilsner, and their Kraftwerk line of craft beers. And this one, I believe, I should have, uh, I forgot to write this part of the history, actually. It's a 4.8% ABV. God knows how many IBUs, German style Pilsner. Let's just stick with that. <laughs> All right. So let's go over to our uh, beer history and uh, talk about a Scott. Have you ever had this before? No. No, I have not. It is. Mm, hold on. Let me come back, swing back around. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to swing back. We're all we're talking about now in this phase is about what's our history with this beer. I have no history with this beer. You have no history with this beer? Okay, let's go over to Mr. Greg. Greg, what's your history with this beer? There we go. I'm unmuted. Okay, I've got great history with this really? beer. So when, yeah, when the COVID crisis started, Nick <laughs> gave me a bunch of beers. I had to brave the LCBO because the LCBO is a dangerous place back then. It probably still is. And Nick said, we're going to do Bitburger, so put that on your list of things. So I braved an LCBO to get Bitburger, and then Nick never did Bitburger. And six months later, we're finally doing Bitburger, but this is a different can. I drank that other can, and that's my history of Bitburgers that Nick tried to kill me. Yep. You know what? I think it was something like uh, I made you risk your life to go out and get a can of Bitburger, and then we ended up not drinking it. Yeah, but we, we didn't did. drink like the other four or five beers you bought. The same you time, gave so. you were like the Grim Reaper of Blue Balls, right? Okay, Mr. Uh, uh, I think Sexton is a little bit better than beer. Come on, right? Uh, Mr. Sexton, what's yeah, your history? I, I don't Buck remember having you ask us to go get Bipper. I remember Warsteiner, was it? Remember, Warsteiner? We did Warsteiner already, uh, yeah. But I think before that, it was over the summer, I was mentioning I could get oh. Bitburger, and Greg went out and bought one anyway. Oh, geez. So, fuck it. Uh, um, my history with this beer, um, well, according to Untapped, I've tapped it once before, a few years ago. Pretty sure I may have grabbed it on one of my LCBO feeling like a Euro lager, Pilsner type of mood, but... Um, to the best of my knowledge, I don't know. I, I honestly think it's probably been a while since I've had this. Nine. Uh, I was really surprised to, to hear you say that uh, Kostritzer, uh, the black lager, is made by Bitburger as well. Um, I didn't know that. And uh, I translated that little spiel underneath. It's you know where it says premium pills, German's number one draft beer. The translation of whatever i'm not even gonna try it it says brewed with hallertau and bitburger seal hops according to the german purity law so i have no idea i never heard of that one yeah bitburger seal hops i don't i, I think that's just a bad translate by google but i don't know well at least we know it was brewed with hallertau mm. and it, it follows the german purity law but all right i just a nice game out so, uh, yeah, that's my history. Nice. So now we know what hops it was brewed with. And also, the according to Untapped, the IBUs is 38, which is actually pretty strong mm. for a uh, for uh, for a lager. No, anyway. Well, not, not, not so much for a pills, though. Anyway, so let's go over to Mr. Sexton again. You got some comments. Uh, yes, we do. Um, so Lee was reacting. He, he got... Uh, he got trigger bearded by my name and he says, uh, fuck yo steam whistle, ashy sexless man. And I, I, I think he was, he was trying to re recreate my, uh, my discord name. Um, but he failed and I told him to watch his filthy mouth. And then, uh, he mentioned that it's his, his mouth is clean as long as there's no steam whistle in it, which wow. is, a, which is a, a lie. And, uh, then, uh, and then Greg, uh, semen brawl. Ashley has the most catfish. Yep. Well, I think we've established that I'm the best catfisher amongst us, but uh, I don't have catfish. Hmm. I think further investigation is needed. Perhaps. Perhaps. And that, I, I think that's it. Um, unless there's, yeah, that, that's it. No more. Uh, Wait, is it you're, you're, you're trolling in the comments, I'm sure? No, no. Yeah. No. He probably gave up when Nick wouldn't let him in. Just, no, he's still here. Oh, Hi, Yurt. Oh, hey, Yurt. Bye, Yurt. Okay. 
Well, he won't have the beer because it's less than fifteen percent, so he doesn't do that shit. No, no, it's too. It, like the beer is not good enough for him, so he's. And I'm, I'm not. I'm actually drinking this out of my uh, Barsteiner glass. Barsteiner, Yahul. Just a tiny glass, though, eh? Like, look at the. Uh, I don't. Is I'm it, having this my Cronenberg glass. Does that represent zero point? It's like two hundred and ten milliliters. Is that what that is? Zero point two. Cleman's get glass. Oh, there you go. A taller and slender glass is uh, the appropriate one for pills. Greg, what are you drinking it out of? I'm having out of a Cronenberg glass because oh, I don't know Cronenberg is European and this is. European, so yeah, Sam Adams, the Sam most European, mm -hmm. of the uh, North American lockers. <laughs> the only time, the only time I'm European. I'm sorry, what was that? You're European when you go to the bathroom. He's a PM. Oh, I'm a PM. Yeah. I I think everyone has that that Sam Adams glass too. I yeah, don't. the perfect pint oh, glass. I got a few of these yeah, actually. It is, yeah. Like this is my biggest one. This is like the the full pint size. Wow. The other ones are like big enough just to hold a bottle. But I like using this thing for for like drinking stuff like pilsners and bread, German lagers, and it's nice glass. Yeah, I like this glass. I got it free for buying a six pack of Boston Lager once. Ooh, ooh. The downfall on that, the down part on that, you have to buy a six pack of Boston Lager. Yeah, Boston, Lager. Boston Lager's not that bad. I enjoy it. I had it a few times and I was like, okay, this is okay. I can see myself buying this again. And then I've also had it and I was like, why did I buy this? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, I guess it really just depends on the mood. So, and while you're talking about this, this is one thing I, I don't know if I got this year here in New Brunswick was uh, their, their Oktoberfest. Um, not to cut you off there, Greg. Uh, Lee says, off to work. Have a good night, dudes. Uh, you as well. Enjoy a nice, crisp steam whistle when you're done, Lee. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself. Oh, he'd love you that. Good night, Lee. You deserve it. Maybe you have two steam whistles. Also, I appreciate the apology, Ashley, but I actually wasn't saying anything. <laughs> no, I meant I was cutting off Nick. Sorry. Did I say uh -oh. Greg? Well, we look the exact same. So that's I never point. want to apologize to you. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't feel right. But you did. <laughs> oh, but I did. Uh oh. Hey, wow. Catfish has been catfished. Sam Adams is actually on sale this week. Anyway. Well, then. Pinky yeah. up. So I don't know if there's really a whole lot to say specifically about this beer. It's. What do you expect it's going to be? Anybody want right. to start giving thoughts? Well, I, think we've all, I think we've all started drinking it. Okay, we can sit here talking for a bit more. we got five viewers right now. If anybody's out in the crowd, uh, let us know what you're drinking. Will we do uh, interact with people who watch this stuff? Because yeah, where's, where's Eric Gilbert? We're, we're flattered you even give us the time. And what happened to James We West have no idea why. For a while. No so, I mean, uh, the beer tastes like a regular, like for a regular Pilsner, it's pretty good. It's a little uh, spicy, a little tart at the end. Mm -hmm. Nothing nothing too bad. I mean, I've had a lot of German Pilsners before, just not this one. I mean, what? Looking at uh, Raining on Your Parade's comment here saying, you guys are always changing the beer of the week. For some reason, this channel is not coming up my YouTube feed. Maybe I knew because we did that uh, that post debate feed there a couple weeks ago. We got filtered or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the last one Rainy and your parade watched. He thought it was in order, but it was an older one, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, well, we we did say we were gonna do. Yeah. We actually we're actually doing the beer that we had planned to do this week. Yeah. Nothing fucked up this week. But Rainy on your parade's always drinking something. So let us know. Oh yeah, let us know what you're drinking. Let us know. So now you got me thinking, like, go back to last week's episode and see and make sure. Did I say we were playing doing a good burger? I'm we pretty did. sure. I've actually found the same thing that the it doesn't seem to show up on my feed properly. I often have to actually go to Nick's channel to find it. For Nick's, yeah. I You know what? I, I find this the same thing, too. I don't know. Uh, whenever we go live, sometimes I have to go in there and manually type you out if I'm when I was reading the comments through YouTube and stuff like that doesn't automatically pop up even yep. though i do have that notification bit burger yep. oh, yeah. 
Oh, what, wow. Okay, go back to that if, you, if you're able to, because there's the perfect screenshot up there. There was a comment in it as well. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Smart, smartest thing you have ever said. Steam Whistles Canada's best filter. Wow. You hear that? We're congratulating you, Yurt. That wow. is a great pilsner. God, no, no context at all to that statement, but the statement itself stands alone as, as truth. You know, well, it is the awesome pills are just ideally if you get the one brewed in, in downtown Toronto, not Tobacco. Yeah. Not Tobacco. Don't want that Tobacco water. No, you'll catch, catch what Greg has. Well, <laughs> you, you I, I, like, I like to give it away. Oh God. Oh. Well. All right, so um, yeah, I mean, for a pil for a German pilsner, I don't know if I like this as much as like Warren's uh, War not Warren's Warren's fuck Warren Warren but like um, Warsteiner. Yeah, um, it's too much cardboard. Oh God, yeah, totally, totally. Um, so yeah, it it definitely. Well, am I just going to go out of order or what? Or, yeah, well, no, you know, what, let's let's. Let's do it. Let's just go. Yeah. What do you? What's your final thoughts, your fuzzy? Um, it's not bad. It's not like poison. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but it's. I mean, it's not great. I and mean, it does have a little bit of ting on the back of your tongue when you when you drink it. Uh, it goes down easy. Um, maybe too easy. Uh, it doesn't have enough flavor to it uh, not that not, not saying it doesn't have any flavor to it just doesn't have enough flavor to it um for the style um you, you rate it out of 10 or out of five? 10 10 for the yeah. style i'm gonna give it a six like six question mark um total five not if if it's if it's there, I'll drink it. If it's if there's other pilsners kicking around that I like more, I'd probably get those first. Like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. That's my it's it's okay. If if I was in Germany, <laughs> I'll tell you something. If I was in Germany, I would not choose this. Hmm. Even though they say they're the number one. On draft draft? beer, apparently. Draft beer. Maybe it tastes better on draft. Maybe. I mean, they're always saying like uh, you go to Germany and the German beer and better Germany is better than what they send us, basically like the export stuff. So who knows? I I don't know. I I guess I'm kind of the most thing I'm most impressed about this beer is that they're actually they're not like owned by Budweiser or Anheuser Busch or something like that. They're actually their own brewery still, instead of being bought up by a bigger player. We're still an independent like Carl Carlsberg or something. Um, All right. I have a buddy, and I have a I have a buddy that lives in Germany. And uh, if I if I told him to send me some good brews, man, I should go. I should, should do that. Him. Is that was that Allison's? No, 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 no. I met this guy in Cuba, right? Okay. On our honeymoon, this guy and this uh, and his girlfriend, well, his wife at the time, his wife now. Anyway, sweet people, such a nice people. And he works in IT, and he said, listen, Scott, if you want to come to Germany, I'll get you a job in Germany. <laughs> and I'll give you a car. Oh, wow. And and probably like, Mercedes. Uh, no, not no. He said it was uh, BMW. BMW. Oh, no. No, not a no. BMW. Audi? No. Oh, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Oh, well, no. Nah, nah. BMW. Well, what do you mean? Uh -huh. Any uh -huh. German. Yeah. Nothing wrong, yeah. wrong with a Volkswagen. Just that's. So pedestrian compared to what other yes, yes, but they give you they give you the Volkswagen. It's they your... give you the Volkswagen. They don't just right. lease the right. So if you, if you left your job in three months and came back to Canada, you can bring that Volkswagen back with you. Right. You get a free um, car. You get a free car. Uh depends on where you live. He they his his work pays for an apartment because he doesn't live he doesn't live in the same city as he works. So his work pays for an apartment. And gives him a car to drive back and forth. Wow! And he said, "If I if I wanted to come do IT, I'd come over and do IT. The only thing I is, I'd have to learn German." My like, ah, God! Not the hardest language nine. to learn. You just, have, nine, nine. you just have to sound angry all the time. 
anyway, so yes. what I should, the end of that I should what I should do is give him a shout and tell him to send me some good brewskis from from Germany. Well, yeah, just don't give him a send. We can do a trade. Yeah, well, there you go. Why don't I send him? Well, better uh, need to get some. I would need to get some good beers from here, though. Yeah, no, we can. We, me and you can talk if you want. Yeah. Anyway, right. uh, right, six for the six for the uh, style, five for overall. All right, let's go over to Greggy. Hey, Greggy. Oh, hi, Nick. How are you? I'm all right. So I think I like this beer more than our fuzzy friend here does. Um, I actually think it's a pretty nice, solid. Uh, beer. Now, I'll get into why to me it kind of tastes more like just a standard lager than a Pilsner, but the problem has so many lagers is that you get an American adjunct that just tastes like shit corn syrup. You get the European ones that either don't follow the purity law or just do a shit brew that tastes like corn syrup. And then you get the fucking craft ones that taste like a fucking pale ale. Now, these are proper lagers, whereas this one actually kind of is, even though it seems to be a Pilsner, which I guess is a style lager, so it's okay. Um, it's actually just kind of plain. It's nothing nothing great, but it's clean. You drink it. it would, you could drink a bunch of these by the pool. Uh, I'm assuming it's cheap because it's a European beer. So, I mean, there's really not much to say about it. It, just, it does the job. It does what it needs to do. So, uh, style, I'm going to go at seven. If they had said this was a lager, it would be like a, ten, a nine because it's very yeah. good. <laughs> nine. Nine. <laughs> it's, it's they're calling it a pilsner, and I don't think it's a pilsner. At least, it doesn't taste much like a pilsner to me. Uh, yeah, it's a seven for style. Uh, my own personal enjoyment is seven five. Very solid beer. It's something I could oh. very happily enjoy by a pool, uh, and not have to think about it. No aftertaste. No nothing. Doesn't taste like burnt vagina. It's great. Yeah. Uh, do you know what burnt vagina tastes like? <laughs> Greg, are you asking that to Greg seriously? Yeah, no. He probably does. <laughs> well, yeah, Anybody yeah. here knows what let's, burnt vagina let's, tastes like. Let, let's get over the fact that maybe you know how to know what <laughs> vagina tastes like. How do you burn it? Well, you, you, what, your, your wife has never got a sunburn at, at a nudist resort and then, then it, uh, wanted you to service her? No, it's still not burnt vagina. That's Ashley Sexton. Ashley Sexton. What do you think of this beer? How do I follow that up? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, now you have to follow say? Greg, and that's going to be. What do you say to that? <laughs> um, the aroma is super clean. Um, yeah, like no off late, like like no off aromas or anything like that. There's no like sulfury or over overly metallic um, aroma. It, it just smells very clean and crisp. Um, the sip sort of follows suit, uh, pretty crisp. Um, this actually has a, a nice bittering to it. Um, although I find it to be a little bit, um, I, I'm not going to say, sorry, excuse me. It's not too bitter or anything like that for the style. I, I think it's, it's bittered appropriately. I think, I think it's just the, the flavor from the hops um, sort of throws it off a little bit on the back end there. Uh, you definitely do get that, yeah, and you know what, Nick, you mentioned it, and I groaned because, uh, yeah, it's like a total uh, cardboardy, wet, you know, uh, wet paper type of, of taste to it, uh, which is a little off-putting. Um, but you can definitely tell that there's they did follow, you know, the, the purity law. There, you know, there, there's no adjuncts in here. There's no corn. There's no corn seed. Did I freeze or did you freeze? I think Ashley Sexton froze. I think Ashley Sexton froze. I oh. thought everybody else froze for a second there. Oh, he else was moving. Ashley Sexton's internet went down. You know what that uh -oh. means? Oh, he went to yeah. potato. Catfish is going to catfish. I I also want to say something. Like I see that uh, Craig's in the chat, and uh, they, hey, Craig, I hope you're doing okay, buddy. Um, Cheers, Craig. I'm not going into too much detail, but Craig had some bad shit happen recently to him, and I just want to let you know we're all thinking about you, man. And cheersing. Come on, Nick. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Well, it, here. Well, you actually see our faces oh. when we say this. So. Cheers, to hope Craig. You, hope you're doing well. Yeah, we'll see you again at some point. Um. Yeah. On that. On that note. Yeah. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna. Hopefully, Ashley comes back in once he gets his uh, internet issues sorted, so I can actually do the math. While we're waiting, I'm actually going to do my part of this thing here. So as he was just talking about, yeah, I, like 
yeah, I mentioned it was kind of cardboardy. Uh, the, the aroma I found has got this this cardboardy, grassy kind of aroma. It's not super off putting, just a notable amount of cardboard. But you get that in other like other loggers anyway. Um, drinking it, it's got this very strong. Like I noticed it for for a, a pilsner, it, it seems very strong. And I suppose. 38 IBUs is probably about as strong as what you get in like Pilsner or Kel, but I'd rather have a Pilsner or Kel because the, the hop profile and that thing's got a little bit more interesting. This one here, I'm getting this soapy, earthy, grassy, herbal hop note off the top of it that's kind of strong, and then it fades into this drying, lightly sweet, slightly bready body with a touch of sulfur in the finish. Super easy going down. Like, it's very, very crushable. Um, at the same time, I just find that that, that, that soapy aftertaste of getting yeah. that's that's where that's where i'm given that's where the most marks lost for me the aftertaste yeah. the, the back of the tongue aftertaste yeah yeah that that that, that, that lingering cardboard you get there that's the lingering sulfur and cardboard you know what my can's not even like compared to what their uh, best before dates are if you can see that uh it's like canned on three three 2020 best before it's still got like five months to go before it's it's bad well not that it really goes bad that quickly but uh, nine, six, I don't know. 20, 20. I, I will say the best thing about this is that it's super easily drinkable. I mean, like, yeah, I would drink that again because that is really quite drinkable and refreshing. But as far as that that weird soapy, hoppy taste that it's got to it, it's just bizarre. I mean, there's a number of other Pilsners I would drink before this thing. Like uh, like I keep saying, Warsteiner. It's just like Steam whistle, yeah. That, you know what? As much as we make fun of it, yeah, I would I would drink a steam whistle over there. I don't get that. Or, so or even uh, what was that other one? That Ace Hill Pilsner. <clears throat> I don't remember if that was good or not. I can't remember that far back. I um, think it was like close running towards. Uh, I think it was just barely didn't make past. Uh, like I, I, I think steam whistle is overall still better. Um. Anyway, as for my marks, I'm going to give it a seven for the style because it's still it's pretty decent for a German. Pilsner, just not the best one. Um, and a six for overall enjoyment. Oh, man. How come I, I feel like, I feel I like it should be higher than that? But I don't, I do and I don't want a higher rating for e drinkability because I just, it is going down super easy. That's all I have left. How, how can I have the lowest score to this? Because you hated it. How, yeah, you're the logger boy, aren't you? Yeah. I just, maybe, and, and maybe I've drank enough loggers or I had a lot of loggers. That this doesn't. Like, He's a logger specialist. I am. I don't this, a specialist. Yeah, this does not hit me. It's just like, mm, oh. like flat. It's flat. So in the chat, in the uh, the group chat on Facebook, uh, Ashley said his power just went out. Yeah, uh, he'll he be said it's six for style and power and for for preference. So we're just going to write him down as doing that. Well, that sucks. We just lost Ashley, so now I got to read the comments because there's nobody else to do it. I can do it, Nick. So what else do we got here for comments? Anyway, I'm just going to go through here. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, Draining on Parade saying he's drinking DI double IPAs and a Trader Joe's peanut, peanut butter stout for dessert. Ooh, that sounds interesting. And in response to him talking about how, uh, I'm assuming talking about not catching on last week's beer, um, it could have been stoned, which is... You know, absolutely accurate. Couldn't that could be any of us except I don't know, even Scott, I guess now because he's got those gummies. Not me, not me. I don't do the I don't do the devil's lettuce. Right. Uh, I have I have it in spray form. So what is that called? The devil's fart. Devil's fart spray. Not fart. oh, you got the spray stuff. Is it is that devil's fart? Or is that THC. 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 Okay. All right. All right, so Radio Imperial says Bitburger for the price here in America is five ninety nine for a four pack. Damn, son, that is that's super six, fucking cheap. Six bucks. Six bucks. Six bucks I America. Think, so eight dollars Canadian. Now is that like the three fifty five mil bottles? Because I'm just like that. That compares almost to like it's an import and it's comparing to some like local stuff, like like local junk logger, like uh, like Rolling Rock or something. Uh, who else is here? Basement Beer Reviews is there saying, hi, Nick. Hey, Jamie. All right. So let me uh, Hello, let you, guys, you guys talk to each other, and I will do my mathematics. Let's just, let just say a whole bunch of random numbers to confuse Nick. 17. Three times 5.238. 
to the power of two seven. I can't do this anymore. It's too much math. <laughs> we overloaded. Neg negative one. Next one. Really Next one. Multiplier. The square root of negative one. A non-existing number. <gasps> Your face is a non-existing number. Next, solve the logarithm. Lo logger? Logarithm? <laughs> yeah. Logarithm. So I totally brought this beer up. My scores are the highest by a good margin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saving this beer. Saving it from complete mediocrity. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you you must you must enjoy this beer so much that you're gonna go out and buy another two. I'll I buy another one. If Nick makes me buy another. Greg will buy it well, as long as he does. He doesn't see any steam whistle or or Polish lagers first. Hey, you know, like, I don't remember what this cost, but if I was just looking for shit to drink by the pool in the summer, I'd totally buy this again. You wouldn't say no to a free one. Definitely, when I, I wouldn't say no to a free anything. Oh, you haven't had some bad. You haven't had some of the beers we've had. Hey, hey, anyone yeah. wants to drink a box of the worst beers possible, as long as it's not going to kill me, I will drink it. Labatt Blue 10.1. Oh, I'm I sure that would be amazing. I wouldn't be surprised if Greg's had that or not. I, I, I downed three 10% malt liquors in one night and felt really shitty the next morning, so oh, I'm sure I... Malt liquor. Oh, was that the, uh, the when we did the malt liquor night with the Atlas, and and uh, what did you drink? Forget what you drank. Was it uh, that? Oh, well, you drank the Fax in the Bavaria or something and, like and that. I don't know about the Bavaria, but Fax, like Martins, and then the, another oh, one. Oh, great, the Martins one. And there's a third one. I can't remember, but. All righty. So, wow. Okay, I have to share this because 16 ounce cans for $5.99. Oh, Damn. God. That's like gas station massive can fucking shit. Now keep in mind that's also like three bucks Canadian, but well, these ones yeah. say they're five hundred. They, well, they're European. So how many ounces does this say? Does it say European? European. Anyway, not important. Let's go over to our ratings, which are now ready to go. And Bitburger gets a six point five for style and a six point one for overall. Oh, if I didn't if I didn't pull it up, it basically would be like a five point something beer. Yeah, something like that. Well, I gave it a, a seven and a six, so it's oh, okay. So I gave it a six and a five. Yeah, I didn't think it was hot garbage. It has that wow. hot garbage would be lower than a five. I'm gonna curious, like how's that compared to Warsteiner? I saved the I'm always saved. curious what Nick has on his hard drive. Uh not exciting. enough porn. He wish he had more porn, especially okay. the, especially the, the, uh, the animal porn. He loves that stuff. Oh yeah, he can't, well, yeah. He can't get it up with that animal that. porn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It still don't perform worse, Steiner. Wow. Although I think I brought the late rating on that one up. Well, I don't remember Warsteiner, Steiner, but looking at the uh, untapped rating, I did not care for War Steiner all that much. Yeah, there we go. And I thought, yeah, that's how good we liked uh, Pilsner Raquel. Looking through beer analysis history of German and pil of generally European pilsners, look, look, we even like Luch better, marginally. Or what did we think of Dab? Did I save the one for Dab, or did I lose that? Well, there's Peroni. Yeah. What about? Uh, it beat it beat the it beat that one there. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the the ratings for. I think I lost the graphic. My computer might have rebooted before I saved it or something for because of Windows updates. But it, uh, I see the scores here for yeah, yeah Dab scored a seven point three three and a six point one seven. And of course, Steam Whistle. Because that's the payload. Either way, yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of beers. Oh, look, it's Ewart. All right. Um, oh, Yui. Yeah. All right, so we haven't had the mass magic question asked yet, so we're going to hang on for a bit and say, hi, Ewart. Let's all talk to Ewart. What does Yui have to say for himself? 
Yeah, too late. <laughs> so what's the? You've got the same glass. Which glass is that? Probably the Nick's glass. I would have thought he'd say that earlier. Maybe you were showing like the. Uh, Maybe you were flashing one of your pictures. Of the pills in Raquel or something. Yeah, when we were flashing the pictures, I'm willing to bet like the Warsteiner glass. I've got one of those Warsteiner glasses. So, what's your favorite zoo animal, Nick? I'm not getting into that. You know what? You know, fuck it. Oh, look, there's the question right there. Thanks for making the awkwardness go away. They're uh, ringing oh, in the parade. And we're going to talk about next week's beer is going to be a bring your own beer night. We're going to do pumpkin yeah. beer. Pumpkin beers, and I will add, or spooky beers, like Halloween Ooh. themed. Or just because, just in case you can't get a pumpkin where you're at, like Craig, if you're still listening and you're interested in coming on, I understand if you're not. If you can find like some kind of like Halloween themed beer, that'd be fine. Or or like Oktoberfest or something like that. Just I would say I would say any stout is spooky enough. <laughs> just any like fall theme, like any kind of like Halloween or or, or spooky themed beers would be fine. Just just in light of the next week being uh, Halloween. Is next week Halloween? Next week is well, Halloween. Next next, Friday, next, Saturday, next Saturday. Saturday. Not this Saturday coming, but the next weekend. Yeah. Already, I know the month's going pretty, pretty quick. Oh. Well, now that you there's know, spooky beer now, Nick, I have more than one choice, but I think I think I know what I'm gonna worry. It says to you if you don't want to if you want to get something other than a, than a pumpkin beer, go ahead. No, I'm gonna bring a pumpkin beer. I'm a I'm a pumpkin pumpkin beer kind of guy. Pumpkin pumpkin beer? Pumpkin beer kind of guy. Especially considering how shitty the pumpkin beer selection has been this year. Oh my god! Uh, don't you have like four or five different pumpkin beers to go to there, Greg? Yeah, yeah, but they're all kind of shitty. I mean, the only real good one is Paranormal. Uh, yeah. DLB is fine. Then the other one's not so good. I haven't had what's the one I haven't had? I haven't had Saint Ambroise this year. I'm sure it's gonna be good because it, it's always good. Mm -hmm. But you know, we don't get pumpkin anymore. We don't get anything interesting from the states, so. I, can't, I do I like Santa, Santa Bra. I've had it before. It's quite nice. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't it here. Here. No, he didn't. Wait, it's in the taste just back from Santa we, Bra. Oh, nothing. So I said we've totally analyzed Santa Bra before. Oh yeah, we've analyzed. We did their their Oktoberfest, and we did not the Oktoberfest. We did the oatmeal stout, and one of the other ones too. Well, I'm sure we've done the pumpkin beer. Yeah, we did. The first, the, first, the first one we did was uh, it was actually when it was still Lee's chant, Lee's uh, show that we did. Uh, oh, really? Santa Boy Pumpkin. Huh. And I remember that because I got a, a growler of it at the Envy Liquor Store because I couldn't find it. Was, I got lucky that uh, like the night, like just before the show, it was like I thought I was going to miss the show and not be part of it. And it's the closest I've ever been for not being a part of one of these shows. Um, and, uh, I ended up getting like, an infected growler of it and I got real sick and started and puked the next day. Nice. Nice. That, that's my memory. And then after that, this was my show. <laughs> Memories. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Like in New Brunswick's kind of been kind of crappy on the pumpkin beers. I think we got three different ones to choose from. I'm, I'm looking, I mean, we got here. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. What are you saying? It's probably because we can't import as much as we could before. Hmm. Uh, well, my, my saving grace is I would always hit up the states in early October and just <laughs> shit and can't do that anymore. Okay, there's Gahan pumpkin we can get here, which is their pumpkin spice beer. It's not even any real pumpkin in it. There's Propeller's pumpkin beer. There's uh, Boxing Rock's uh, Fuego Habanero pumpkin beer. And then there's Flying Monkey's Paranormal, which we can get here. Which we did last year for BA 101. And which I, I would say of the ones I've had this year is it's the best one by a good yeah, mark. I might end up getting another can of that just to try. Yeah, it. it's, it's, it's very small. And, in fact, I think they're slowly but surely trying to copy pumpkin. And finally, uh, we can get Patissos Bonhomme Setur, which is Septur's like seven hours, um, Man mm -hmm. of Seven Hours or something, which is like their their Imperial Pumpkin from Edmonston, which I've had. It's pretty good. Wow. Just remember, drink your pumpkin beers because they all go rotten at midnight on the 31st. Yeah. 
And unlike the they part turn out, they, they turn away from pumpkins and into something else. So I just want to say one last thing. This is the pumpkin beer from Propeller, and I wanted to say that it's, uh, it's actually made with Howard Dill, world famous pumpkins. So wow, Dill hey. weed, Dill weed. <laughs> uh, I would have wanted to try. They made that that pumpkin beer a few years ago. I think it was in like Brothers something brewery, whatever the hell the name was. They actually brewed it inside a pumpkin. Was it Blood Brothers that did that? Uh, no, Brothers. Blood Brothers. It was some place. I, re I remember some place doing that. Yeah, it was closer to Chad. It was back when Chad was still in Niagara, and I wanted him to get me a bottle, but he couldn't because they're. Yeah, pretty... I can't remember who did that, but I remember that. Anyway, let's let's go offline while we can come off in the after chat, and we can actually let uh, Yurt in. Hi, Yurt. Which kudos to him. He's actually sitting there hanging in the background, not talking. Peace. This is the best conversation I've had with him in years. I know. It's a very civil and 